Good morning from Studio 57 here in New York. I'm Anne Marie Green. I'm Vladimir Dutip. Here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. The Justice Department is looking into classified documents found in an office that President Biden once used. We'll break down what we know about the paperwork and the blowback from Republicans. The rain is not letting up in California. We're on the ground there with a look at the treacherous conditions and ongoing efforts to rescue those trapped by floodwaters. Moscow steps up its attacks, but President Zelensky says his forces are holding on. We'll have a look at the intense fighting and the battle for control of key cities in eastern Ukraine. Plus, rather, Moderna is reportedly looking to sell its COVID-19 vaccine commercially for more than $100 a shot. So Vlad and I will be talking to a doctor about what that could mean for all of us as the coronavirus continues to spread. And you've heard of quiet quitting. Now it looks like a lot of companies are going to start quiet hiring mm -hmm. in 2023. Later this hour, a human resources expert explains the new work trend and how it could impact your current job. It sounds so nice, right? What, what is quiet hiring? Oh, quiet hiring is basically getting you to do more work without actually improving your income or your title or, or quite frankly hiring someone new but that's not a new i know i was like that is like how corporate america has operated since like the first that's what i thought i go oh they just got like a new public relations like <laughs> exactly. marketing term for this yes. but we and, know and also, what it is. you're right it also doesn't really balance out <laughs> quiet quitting is when you're like you know what just going to ghost my way out of this job, right? Yeah. Quiet hiring, it's like. Well, but it's an answer to quiet, quiet quitting because as people go, oh, okay, I'm just going to do my job, but I'm not going to do anything extra, then employers go, could you do some extra stuff for us quietly? Okay. I'm looking forward to that conversation <laughs> a little later in the show. Uh, but now to our top story. The Justice Department is overseeing a review of documents marked classified that were found inside an office used once by President Biden. Their exact nature and level of classification remains unclear. President Biden used the office after serving as vice president, but before declaring his candidacy for the White House. Some Republicans and critics have compared the situation to the much larger discovery of documents at former President uh, Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. Adriana Diaz broke this story for us, and she's joining us from Washington.